In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly fix the quality of shadows in the EV renderer. If you look here, Blender is rendering this shadow with the EV renderer in the viewport, but it's kind of jaggy and not the best. If I click on the camera icon and I switch the cycles, you'll notice that the shadow looks nice, but at the cost of a longer render time. So we want to be able to use Eevee and still see nice shadows in Blender. So the first thing we can do is click on the render engine, which is the camera icon, and then scroll down to shadows. Then we can change the cube size from the default of 512 to 496. And that already helps a lot. Then we can also change the cascade size to the maximum of 496. Then if we click high bit depth, that in improves the shadows even more. So now we have pretty nice looking shadows, but if you look right down here at the corner of the box, it still isn't touching right on the bottom. So to fix that, we can go ahead and click on the light in the scene. So if I click on this light and then I click on the light bulb, I can twirl out shadow and then I can check the box that says contact shadows. Now watch the difference. When I click that, now I have that contact shadow right there. So this makes everything look a lot better. So hopefully this makes your shadows in the EV render in the viewport much better. And it's just a few settings. And with those settings set, you'll still get pretty fast renders and they'll be of much higher quality with the EV renderer.